Good evening. It's a spirit journey, and today is Thursday, March 23rd. What a very interesting day I had. I had. Yeah, I'm just snuggling up with my little dogs. This is Lily, and I have little lilac here. See that? <laughs> and little Lavin. You can come. Let's see Lavin. Where are you laughing? Oh. Hey, laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a very interesting day. Come, let's be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I had an interesting day. I was, this is day two actually of using the Oculus Rift, this VR goggles, and I purchased a game. The game was a, a nature game. Oh man, it is really, really something else. I'm amazed. This game, if you have a headache or something like that, you have troubles, you should get this game. I, I'll probably put down the name of the game down. I don't remember on the top of my head right now, but it's a game where you can select what different nature scenes and it's, a, it's like maybe seven different nature scenes that you can choose from and then while you're in it you could translocate in different regions within this VR and this music. I mean I didn't even use my own personal headset. It comes with a built-in headset, the goggles, and the sound is wonderful. So I could just imagine when I use, I have these high-tech, you know, headsets that cover the entire ear. It's nicely cushioned, so that would really give deep sound, boy. <laughs> really, really nice. But what I found interesting with this game, like the game I, I selected, I mean the environment was uh, two of them a redwood forest giant giant the trees and then this other one was like on like like a like um, a summer scene with rolling hills and trees and flowers and it had this thing that this coil this orange coil and it said like if you look at it when it starts to glow you press this button and then it'll transport you so like like when you see it glow you press the button and then you see a like this uh, this person that's sitting like buddha style and then it disappears and then you disappear and you're in, then you relocate in a new area it was wonderful and you're completely submerged in it. You can even stand up. You know, you don't see yourself. And you can look, you can look up, you can look 360 degrees and the ceiling complete, complete engulf in this VR, virtual reality. And I love it. Oh, it, it was wonderful. So I said, you know, I'm going to stand up and, and see what it feels like to just stand up. And uh, you can walk a few feet, you know. You have, you have an area where you can actually stand up. And then if you go past a certain part, it will remind you that, you know, you have to stay within your, your sphere. You know, it will put up a VR um, fence, you know, that you'll be able to see vis visually that okay don't go beyond that point so it was wonderful and you know what I want to do I'm going to you know I had my little dog Lily with me she wanted to go on my lap while I was using the goggles and I said yeah you know I'm gonna put her on my lap and pretend she's with me in the VR scene and so I'm always with her you know and um, you know what I want to do? I, I want to get my lunch, you know, get a nice lunch or breakfast and eat there. And I mean, you can do that. I mean, you won't see yourself, 
but you know you just you know it's you you're able to go all the way with it you can do meditation and close your close your eyes while you're in it because uh, they they have music going on that's part of the whole ambiance of this game and it is i i'm just completely complete this is the first time well yesterday was the first time that i ever did this and um i was wondering what it would be like and now you know i i'm in it <laughs> i'm experiencing it and you know what else i start to think like the implications of all this because like when you don't have the goggles on you don't you're not in your VR you know you, you're you're in the now is it it is it really that different you know this I believe now that this world that we live in is a VR and and our bodies you know hands our, our, our eyes nose mouth ears are just senses to tap into this physical world and like with the VR game that I purchased it also comes with you know at an extra price these remotes that you put in both of your hands and with some of the simulations it'll make a sensation to enhance your experience in the VR game and you know you I'm sure some other more sophisticated games maybe the things on the feet of thing things that you could smell or all, all this stuff and it's like wow <laughs> I'm just I'm just completely dumbfounded at the realism of these games and this is just a slither I really believe now that the, yes we are living in a VR game and like the virtual reality the VR that we we start to believe that it's real and some other games I I played today that I experienced was like this game that you you board a ship and um, at, at one point the, the, towards the end just before I finished for the day this game had this being and I didn't know like again it's 360 degrees and on top of you and below everything and and I turned and there was this big right next to me black face black you know it was a female we in the 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 office. it looked real and 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 at one point I started to get scared because you know I didn't know it was gonna be there but you know just like I thought it was real for a moment, because especially because it's ve it's very three D, and I I just didn't I didn't know that it was going to be there when I turned my head. I uh, it, it's something. It's like a dream world, like like you're doing, what it, what do you call it? Um, act of dreaming, and you're engaging in different things, and uh, I I said wow that you get so into it you know you may even forget who the real you is <laughs> I hope not <laughs> but just saying that you know that these games could be so real and uh, and again like with the first game with the nature that you could just pretend you do a meditate you could even pray out loud in the forest what if you what if you start to get so into this meditative state this 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 theta state that maybe you really do transport somewhere you know mentally what you call astral projection I mean, I mean I'm just throwing it out there it's it's amazing and then I started thinking like you know we have a lot of prisons here you know in the physical realm people in in prison for many things and I wonder to a, a, as a as a means of so-called punishment slash rehabilitation that they're required to put on these VR games 
It could be something maybe for, for counseling, and you go through the different programs in this thing, and maybe it'll start to reshape their mind. Let's say someone who's born uh, in a very oppressed uh, neighborhood, and then in the VR game, they you know maybe in life they always want to know what it would it be like to live in a particular type of neighborhood, a really posh neighborhood, or to visit certain countries and places, or how about education, to teach them a foreign language, teach them, teach them math and reading. It could be done, and it'd be cheaper probably, and a, reha a, a true rehabilitation for criminals, you know? And, or let's say you have post-traumatic stress disorder and you want to overcome a particular thing, you could put them in this natural environment like the one that I went to, this, this nature scene, and have them for, at, at, for during the lunch hour to, to sit, have a lunch, and you have the goggles on and, you know, and totally get submerged in it and so that healing could be done. You know, these things also have like little, I saw a little bunny rabbit running. Um, you see the trees swaying. It is completely beautiful. And I start to wonder, wow, is this what heaven is like? Or well, let's say when you, when you, you know, when you die and you, you go to the next realm, is this what it's really like, that in-between world? And... Because it, it was like a dreamlike state. You know, I wonder, I really wonder, is this what it's really like when you're in between lives? You know, if reincarnation is true, you know? It, it seems like maybe I've done this before. Been in a world like that, I you really start to wonder, is this really what's going on with us and that the world is like a VR game within a VR game within a VR game. I think so. I'm really starting to think so. Amazing. Amazing. This is just day two. I'm thinking about this other game that I saw. You, know, you can purchase games and I saw a game that had something like your, I think your bird or something like that, and, and you fly. That one is a little bit more expensive, but you know, I think I might do it, you know, to have the sensation of flight. And this might help, help me overcome fear of heights, you know, and I used to have dreams that I was always flying, and, and sometimes I feel afraid to uh, elevate, you know, to go be up in the air. I haven't had dreams like that in a long time, but hey, you know, this is something. This this VR could really transform people for the better, and again, also for the worse. But you know, for me, this is all part of my spirit journey, and it's something. Once you start this journey, it never stops. and. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes I feel like, oh my goodness, I feel so different. And I think part of the reason why I feel different is because I'm accessing different parts of my brain that I never touch. Or the, if you never thought of a particular thing and you start thinking about it, it's going, it's going to open up new channels of understanding, of exploring. And it's a little scary, but at the same time, exciting. So that's all that I want to say. And, you know, feel free to comment below and let me know any gains maybe, you know, with Ocular Rift, I'm sorry, Ocular Rift that you've used, you know, what games you used on it that you could recommend. I don't like violence. <laughs> But, you know, maybe I might try doing, you know, something with shooting, but uh, I don't know. But, you know, I have a fear 
of weapons and of guns, but maybe, hey, doing this ga these games maybe can help me overcome, you know, that fear too. You know, the sky's the limit. Hey, hey guys. Yes, this is Spirit Journey. Today's the next day, day two, no, I should say day three of Oculus Rift. And I did what I said I was going to do to eat a meal while doing Oculus Rift. And you know, wow, what a great, great experience. I was feeling a little ho-hum today, and I'll probably do a, a different video about that, but I bought my comfort food today, and I placed a nice little rug in my living room, and then I got my uh, favorite ice cream brand, and I bought this, uh, this uh, fast food that I like. And I put it, place it down on the ground like, like having a picnic and made my cup of hot tea. And I put on my Oculus Rift. And then I put in that software for the you know, nature trek. It was wonderful. And I was overlooking a nice uh, creek um, while having my lunch and looking at the sky. And again, with Oculus Rift, everything above, below, and 360 degrees, you're totally immersed in it. And it was a great feeling. I would like to do it again. So that's all that I want to say. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And yes, feel free to comment below. And you can share this video with friends, family members, you could subscribe to Spirit Journey. And once again, please give me the thumbs up. So take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.